fog hang tough. We'll be in the 50s today. But where the sun breaks out, low to mid 60s for many of us, particularly south and west of Boston. The rain tonight into tomorrow morning may contain some downpours, even a thunderstorm. Then it's pretty quiet and seasonal for the middle part of the week before a wind swept rainstorm on Friday. So Friday looks like the wettest day overall this week as this rain moves in. Temperatures in the 40s right now. 47 in Boston. Low clouds had a couple of showers, downpours, even a thunderstorm last evening and night. That is long gone. The radar scopes are pretty quiet over southern New England, although there are some areas of rain through northern New England back up into northern Maine. Snow still on the northwest side of the storm. See that counterclockwise spin? Impressive disturbance here coming right through uh, Iowa and northern Missouri right now. Severe weather threat today is up and down the eastern seaboard. And we may even have a few severe storms in western New England as we head into overnight tonight. For us today, though, an isolated shower this morning is possible. It's not going to slow you down all that much for your commute. Notice through the afternoon, the sun does break out. This may be a little bit overly optimistic, but most of the afternoon will be cloudy before the sun breaks out midday to early afternoon. And where it does, especially south and west of town, that's where we'll be in the 60s. Places like Taunton and Providence and Norwood and Worcester today. But where the clouds hang tough, especially at the coastline in northeastern Massachusetts, that's where we'll be in the 50s this afternoon. So a little bit on the cool side. Tonight, areas of rain, patchy fog, low around 50. And then highs tomorrow do come into the 70s after the rain departs. Here's the hour by hour forecast. Tonight after midnight, nasty thunderstorms. Western New Hampshire, Vermont, Western Massachusetts. These storms will tend to lose a little bit of steam as they slide east. So I can't rule out a thunderstorm, but I'm not anticipating any widespread severe weather tonight in eastern Massachusetts, or even central Massachusetts for that point. And then tomorrow morning, we'll have some showers and downpours for the morning commute. But then look at that. Sun breaks out. And temperatures climb into the mid to upper 70s tomorrow, 60s along the south coast. Wednesday. Hi, everybody. May 1st. Can you believe it? Let's do a little preview of the month. We're warming up. Now, average temperatures for the beginning of the month today, 61 degrees. But by May 31st, 71 degrees. So we're warming up. 59 minutes of daylight will be gained, too. And May 16th is when we hit that 8 p.m. sunset. There's also a pretty good celestial show. I messed that up so many times this morning. There's a little tongue twister there. But Jupiter. Venus and Saturn all going to be visible in the night sky. Mars towards twilight, Mercury towards pre dawn. So, five planets going to be visible at times as long as the sky cover cooperates at points of this month. Pond report, eh, not so good, right? Oh, felt it this weekend. It's like the itchy eyes, the uh, scratchy throat, the stuffy nose. It's going to stay moderate to high right on through midweek and really over the next several weeks as everything's kind of in bloom. You need a good soaking rain to soak that pollen and wash it out of the air to get a little bit of a reprieve. Speaking of soaking rain, we have some across the Canadian border in northern New England. Severe storms firing up down across the mid-Atlantic and southeast today and here in the northeast. Meanwhile, still snow on the northwest side. This whole storm center was responsible for blizzard conditions in parts of the central United States this weekend and severe weather. So uh, you'll hear about it through the remainder of the day today with the severe threat up and down the eastern seaboard. The areas in orange are where we have an enhanced risk. That means there'll be scattered storms likely from portions of North Carolina stretching back up into New York. And those are the areas that may see a few isolated tornadoes and damaging wind gusts as well as hail. You notice parts of western New England are in a slight risk. Right around or just after midnight, we may see one or two storms. But the farther east you come, we're stuck in the 50s and 60s today. Some low clouds, a little bit of patchy fog. There may be some breaks of sunshine, and where we do get those, that's where I do think we'll climb into the 60s, south and west of Boston today. Showers, a rumble of thunder possible tonight. Low temperatures right around 50. Let's time out the showers. Notice that nasty line of thunderstorms coming out of eastern New York. So the Berkshires, Vermont, western New Hampshire, right around or after midnight, may see one or two strong to severe storms. But as those storms slide east, they're going to encounter some of that more stable air. So between 2 and 4 a.m., scattered showers, yes, the chance of a thunderstorm. You'll get some downpours that linger into tomorrow morning's commute, but then they wrap up pretty quickly and the sun does break out. I do think north and west of Boston, we may have one more chance of a quick downpour between about midday and early afternoon. But the temperatures respond tomorrow, mid to upper 70s for most of us. A warm day, 60s along the south coast to Cape Cod. Pretty quiet midweek, sun and building clouds on Wednesday. I can't roll out a stray sprinkle. Thursday, we start with sun. There'll be increasing clouds, especially late in the day, and that's ahead of rain on Friday. It looks